Hey guys, welcome back to a new episode on this web time machine series on this channel. Today we will be looking at the history of Facebook.com. Facebook, the biggest online community in today's century and yeah basically it was started at a university by Mark Zuckerberg and a couple of friends and they just decided to do like a local web page where you can search for different people that are at your school, at your university then they brought this to companies and so on and now everybody is able to sign up and they have billions of people and companies using this on a regular basis. Now you are probably wondering why I am in this inside out jacket. Now you gotta have a look at the jacket. It's beautiful. Look at the design of the, of the inside of the jacket. Now, who wouldn't like wear this jacket like I'm doing it, man? It's amazing. Look at the design. <laughs> okay, but now let's get into this. Let's get into Facebook.com and its history. So in 2016, we have this clear, clean website that all of you probably visited even once when logging into it. We have this normal design that we are already used to. But if we jump back one year to 2015, we are probably looking at something else. But let's see, I'm not really sure what the design was one year ago. I can't really remember. But yeah, we're getting like a crawl uh, problem. But when we look one year back, we see it's actually having the same web design, the same design as in 2016. Now let's jump to 2014 and let's see if we can find something more interesting than the current design. In 2014 it also looked about the same as it looked in 2015 and 16. Now, I don't really know if there were any changes and so on and maybe this is a bug of this web time machine but it's having the same design two years ago. I can't really uh, like confirm this right now. I doubt that it looked like this. So that's why I'm jumping straight to 2013. 2013 same design. I don't know what the problem is with this website or with this like screenshot machine or something like that. It's still having the same design. I mean it's okay. It looks good. But what is the problem about the design? Why it's still the same three years ago? I don't know. Let's jump to 2012. Now we see some small differences. We have this weird map on the left side that's like indicating what Facebook is doing and like they want to connect and share stuff and so on. But still the header is all the same. The form on the right side changed a little bit, but overall looks like almost the same website. They made some small adjustments there with the more recent versions and that's why we are jumping to 2011. 2011 still same design. Facebook what are you doing? Your designs don't really change. I mean if they are perfect then you don't need to change them but I guess they aren't perfect and I guess you have to improve stuff. So why are you keeping all the same designs for years years and years now? Let's jump to 2010 and let's try to find stuff that's more interesting that's changed and that probably has a more like a design that nobody of, of us ever seen before. Now this is the same design with a different like header. I think something mi was mixed up by the time machine there. Let's jump some years ago to maybe 2008 and let's see if we can find something there. I don't know why these websites don't change. I don't know what the problem is. Maybe it's because of Facebook, but maybe it's also because of this web uh, way back machine. Guys, we finally found a different design in 2008. It's old, it's looking fun. It's like a micro page that you see right here. It has these uh, like funny and still great icons that describe what Facebook was used to back then in 2008. We can find our friends, we have some small description of what the website is really doing and we have this small uh, login registration form on the left side. Now this is funny because it's a different design from all the designs that we explored. This is eight years ago. 
eight years ago was the year when there was a huge difference in the design that's, that was used back then. And I think we should jump back to 2007 to gather even more information about the history of Facebook and its design. We are at 2007, it's almost the same as in 2008, but we see some differences when it comes to the description of the website. Now we see that you can upload photos and so on. There is a small text that's indicating what you can do. That's like also naming all of the features that are currently implemented. And one of the most important things that they wanted you to do is to sign up or that to find friends on Facebook. That's interesting, that's their strategy. Now let's jump to 2006 and let's see uh, if we find something. Now I think 2006 or something like that was probably the beginning of Facebook. 2006 or 2005. 2005. This looks like the first version of Facebook somehow. Look at the design. We have this funny avatar logo thing on the top left side, on the top left corner. I don't know, maybe this is Mark Zuckerberg, but this is really funny. Facebook a Mark Zuckerberg production. This is amazing. Have you, did you know that he really posted his name on the index on the landing page? This is funny. This is something that you should know, that we should know. This is like one of the designs, one of the first designs that face. Guys, my camera batteries just died for the second time and I'm hoping I can record this last phrase of the current episode. Now, as I said, we found this redesign that looks different from the current design. It has some small elements that are interesting because, for example, of this Mark Zuckerberg production um, sign in the footer. And I would just like to jump to 2005 and maybe we find something interesting in 2005 because I think, as I said, it's the beginning of Facebook. The beginning of Facebook was in 2005 or 6 and you see a new page is loading up. New page is loading up. Facebook had a different domain at the beginning I think and this was the domain of about face, the first name in directories or something like that. It li it's also like a source for uh, directory software or something like that. It's different, it's not Facebook. Facebook used or purchased this domain from About Face. And the conclusion that I found out during watching all these different websites and designs of Facebook is that the design team of Facebook really, for me, worked probably like a Snorlax. You know Snorlax, the Pokemon that's always sleeping, that's never like waking up if you want to wake it up. Uh, I'm sorry. I think the design team somehow fell asleep and they didn't really change the design. The designs were used for many years, for example, for two years or for three years, I think, and this is weird. I think they didn't really improve the index side and they didn't really put much effort in that. I know they worked on many features and so on, but we only looked at the index side. So I think this was like really interesting because they didn't really change something at all within these 10 years, these 8 years or something like that. And it's also interesting that Facebook.com was purchased by someone else before Facebook had this domain. So I hope this was also kind of interesting for you. I hope this was educational to you. And if you enjoyed it, just give me a thumb up or subscribe to this channel if you haven't. Thank you for your time and enjoy your week. See you. A one year supply of Pokemon food. <laughs> Snorlax sure likes to eat. Well, at least we won't have to carry that food around all year. <laughs>